Hello and welcome. We are the X Hoopers and this is the ISO Hoop basketball video. Uh, my name is Elbik Nazarov. I am in charge of the sensor subsystem, which is composed of the HC SR04 and the Maxbotics EZ0 ultrasonic sensors. Hi, uh, my name is Jonathan Collins. I am a senior in computer engineering. Uh, I'm from Bloomington, Indiana, and my responsibility for this task was to create a UI system or user interface. More specifically, I create an app that is a receiver to our MCU or MC ESP32 for my controller. Uh, I'm in charge of. Uh, I'm Sean Tao, and I'm in charge of the microcontroller unit, which in this case we use the ESP32. Uh, my name is Zach Liao. Uh, my subsystem is power distribution. Uh, the charging circuit is able to charge the 3.7 volts battery at, and I connect the two battery in series to the bulk converter and the bulk converter is able to power the ESP32. Yeah, we have all of our systems integrated. Uh, as you will see from the rest of this video, our system works okay. It could be better, but yeah, thank you for watching. So this video is an example of our PCB for our charging circuit. We had a separate PCB for our actual um, actual design and that was not working. But as you can see here from the charging circuit, uh, it is working at the beginning. The time was 1127 and we had a voltage of 3.8 on the lithium polymer battery. Now you'll see at the end here, there'll be 15 minutes elapsed and we have a voltage of four at the end of the battery. So we do get a a charging of the battery through our PCB charging circuit. So as you can see, we have two LiPo batteries connected to a buck converter that's supplying five volts to this dev kit. And the microcontroller is on as seen by this red light. So our buck converter is working correctly to supply five volts and power the MCU. Okay. So this is the final ISO hoop. We've got two ultrasonic sensors. Uh, the theory is that uh, this hoop right here will see if there is an attempt. So as you can see, the attempt meter is going up. So if this hoop can see the ball as it goes into this area, it'll give an attempt on the MCU, which will transmit that to the app. And then when the ultrasonic sen distance sensor on the bottom of the hoop uh, sees the ball along with the top hoop seeing the ball, then it knows that the ball is crossing through uh, this plane, which means that the ball went inside the hoop and you can count that as a basket and an attempt. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when we test it like this, um, we can see some relatively promising results. We see what we wanna see uh, with respect to our attempts and our shots going up. When we actually do shoot the ball, it can be a little bit finicky sometimes. Um, so I'll try now. That was a miss. That was a miss. Yeah. So it can, it typically does misses perfectly fine. Um, the makes are really the issue. Oh, that was a make. That was a make. So. That was a make and a temp. And I'll try to miss it. Never mind. Oh, the make didn't pick up. All right. Oh. That picked up fine. No make. No make. There was an attempt. Try to miss that. Yeah. And a miss. Yeah, so as you can see, it works. It is slightly finicky, unfortunately. Uh, we did try to use um, a better distance sensor on the bottom, and we accidentally burned it. Uh, and we these are the only sensors that we have left, are these HCSR04s, which are a little bit inconsistent. Um, which we also saw during the midterm demo. Uh, we attempted with different sleep values uh, to, see if, to see if that would help. And um, it still always gives some results that aren't perfect. Uh, but the idea is there. Um, and unfortunately, if maybe we had better sensors or a little bit more time and maybe use some uh, more sensors on the rim, like a accelerometer, we could have gotten some better results, but we, we put a lot of eggs into one basket with the ultra, ultrasonic sensors, um, and it unfortunately doesn't work the best. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you enjoyed our demonstration.